Easy, precise capsule rixes, capsule laser with TCL. Today I will show you two cases where the Trepan Central Landmark becomes visible by using capsule blue 0.4% Trepan blue dye. This helps us use the capsule laser for precise, well-centered capsule rixes. Here's the first case you can see injecting the capsule blue into the anterior chamber after applying HBMC over the cornea then after one minute wash out the capsule blue as you can see then look at the visible central triban landmark it's very clear then using the OVD impact fill technique as we can see now the triban central landmark is very clear and visible here as you can see the circle of the laser it's concentric with the TCL and look at the beautiful 360 capsule rixes well centered with the TCL and look here the difference between the concentric with the TCL and with the pupil diameter now removing the rixes as you can see also the Birkenji image in the center of the capsule rixes then Apply, uh, doing the fake massification as usual and the cortex removal and washing and polishing the anterior capsule as it's clear now it's the time for implanting single piece hydrophobic IOL inside the capsular back and look at the beautiful 360 overlapping of the capsular axis with the optic edge then stromal hydration as usual for the paracentesis and the main phaco incision Let's watch the second case. The second case is patient with a corneal astigmatism. Here is my plan to implant adophthoric IOL. As you can see, the axis of placement is 100, 2.4 clear corneal incision, then two paracentesis. Here the main phaco incision, applying HBMC over the cornea, then using the capsule blue 0.4 to stain the anterior capsule after one minute wash out the capsule blue as we can see and now the tcl triband central landmark is very clear and visible here is obd in back fill technique injection of the obd here is the central triband landmark is very clear and visible now we can see the Laser circle concentric with the TCL. Now applying the laser, you can see in slow motion the beautiful 360 cutting of the anterior capsule, and you can find a well centered, well sized capsular axis. Also, you can see it is concentric with the TCL and is not concentric with the pupil. Then removing the anterior capsule, then doing the Phacomassification as usual for this case, hydrodissection and phacomassification, then by manual irrigation aspiration to remove the cortex. And now here is the adophthoric IOL implanted inside the capsular bag, then wash out the viscoelastic behind the IOL as it's clear and also anterior the IOL, then adjusting the axis of the IOL to be in the uh, matching the corneal marks here you can see the mark on the IOL matching the marks on the uh, cornea then stromal hydration and thank you for watching